Welcome back to my channel. Rhonda Casto was born on July 2, 1985 in Galveston, Texas, United States. She was an inspiring model and a gorgeous girl. Rhonda met Stephen Nichols in 2005 when Rhonda's mom rented a spare room at Stephen's house. Rhonda's mom Julia introduced Stephen to her daughter and he says his jaw hit the floor when he met Rhonda. He thought she was very beautiful and sweet. They quickly became a couple. Three years into their relationship Stephen and Rhonda became parents. Rhonda adored her baby girl and those close to Rhonda say she was an amazing mom. Rhonda's best friend, Jessica says the couple had been fighting a lot. According to Jessica Rhonda told her that Nichols is either going to propose to me or kill me. Jessica was shocked. Nichols' story was different. According to Nichols, Rhonda asked, if anything happens to me, would you promise to take care of our daughter? Nichols says he thought the question was odd but said he would. Rhonda and Nichols was planning to go to go for a hike. At some point during their hike Nichols said it started to rain making the trail slick. At some point during their hike Nichols said it started to rain making the trail slick. Rhonda sprinted down the slippery path and went off the trail and fell 150 feet to her death. When 48 Hours spoke to Stephen Nichols he said Rhonda slipped and fell and that her fall was a tragic accident. Now, he's telling a new story. Nichols says that Rhonda had long suffered from depression and that she may have chosen to go off the trail that day. He said there is one single footprint on the path where she went off, which could be evidence of a jump. Stephen Nichols says after Rhonda's fall, he hiked down to the bottom of the trail where she lay. He suggests that when he reached her body, she may have been still breathing. In a dangerous insinuation, Nichols then compares Rhonda to a wounded soldier who was put out of his misery because his injuries are too severe. Is Nichols admitting something serious to 48 hours? Even though Rhonda Casto was on antidepressant and anti-anxiety medication, Rhonda's mother Julia Simmons says there is no way she would have committed suicide. She says Nichols is lying and that he did push her off that trail. Stephen Nichols pleaded guilty to criminally negligent homicide and coercion and was sentenced to time served. He served three years on probation. He lives in Oregon and has not seen his daughter since the day he was arrested in 2015. Rondas' mother said that she had a nine-month-old baby at home that she loved dearly. And she loved her family she would never have chosen to take her own life. Now Nichols has confirmed he had sex with Casto's younger sister Melanie, then just 16, in an interview on Investigation Discovery series The Real Story. Nichols says he hadn't met Melanie into three months into his relationship with Rhonda, and admits they slept together. That might have been why they argued a lot and tensions were building up. Nichols said that they seldom had fights but Rondell's friends and mother said that they frequently had fights. Nichols is a liar.